Notre Dame is number one. Notre Dame with a miracle win is a He's clock going clock. again. Notre Dame has scored. Coach Devine called the captains into his office. I want to say it was like a Tuesday, early in the week, and and we had no idea what the subject was. Coach Devine called us in, and we were in there with Digger Phelps, the basketball coach, and Coach said, I want something to spark our team, something to really get us going and really get us motivated and get us ready for that game that year. He said, we got an idea, and he had the equipment manager bring in some what we thought were samples of green jerseys, and he said, what do you think of these guys? And we all looked at each other and we said, wow, they look great, you know, maybe one day, you know, the team wearing them would really be a neat thing. And, and he said, well, I'm thinking of wear, having the team wear them on Saturday. If you know Notre Dame, in the past, you know, we had those, we have these blue home jerseys that are just terrible. A plain, the no, nothing on them. Uh, I think when they put the names on them, that was a big highlight when, and on the blue jersey. We put our names on the Ferguson on the back of it. I thought that was great. But for the most part, you know, we, we didn't change. Notre Dame was always the same. We were trying to figure out when would be the best time to present the jersey, so we didn't want to startle everybody. So what we wanted to do was go out and practice in our regular blue jerseys, come back into the locker room, have a really impact on our team all together at one time. The day of the game, uh, we go into the locker room uh, to get dressed, and uh, in our lockers we had green, we had white socks, with green and gold rings around the top of them. Normally they're blue. So we didn't think that, no, we said, well, here we go. So we just put them on and, and we went out to warm up in our blue jerseys. So the guys were like complaining, oh no, this is on national TV, they made a mistake, we gotta wear green socks, it won't look right. And the captains, we all went around and said, it's okay guys, let's focus on the game. So when we get into the locker room after we had gone out for warm-ups and we see these green jerseys, man, and I'm telling you, it was like pandemonium. We, we walk in the locker room and something's different. These green, bright green jerseys with, with yellow numbers, man, we went crazy. Coach Devine said, get those blue jerseys off and put those green jerseys on. As I get up there, I see guys jumping around with these jerseys on, green jerseys, and it's like all of a sudden the hair, I'm like, everything's. The explosion, the player's eyes, and you know, I just see all the guys putting on their jerseys as fast as they could. Never, ladies and gentlemen, has a Notre Dame football team been early coming out of that tunnel. Never. Still to this day, don't know how these guys got their jerseys on that quick. <laughs> because, because I mean, it takes a long time to take a jersey off, put it back on, and these guys had it tucked in and everything, they're jumping around. We were just so hyped. It was absolutely no way that we we're going to lose that football game. The atmosphere is electrifying. I can remember coming out of that tunnel to that sensation of an exciting, enthusiastic crowd that's unequaled anywhere in the country. Intimidating, isn't it? It's intimidating, but the opposing coach can't let intimidate his players or Notre Dame will be invincible. And as we're running out, I see this Trojan horse to the left. I remember talking to Keith Van Horn, a teammate of mine, Jeff Fisher, who's now the coach at the Rams. I remember talking to them about it. They were all doing that. They were always thinking it was their horse. They told me, they told me that they thought that was for them. That somehow their ingenious minds at SC thought that Notre Dame would let them bring a Trojan horse in to Notre Dame Stadium. And here comes a Trojan horse, and Notre Dame for the first time is coming out of the tunnel. You heard the reference about a green machine. Look at the jersey. They said to me, literally said, we knew it was all over at that point. These are guys that started on an SC team. These are guys that have played in the NFL for years and said, that was the most, they will never forget that game. When they came to Notre Dame Stadium, my buddies, teammates of mine in later years, but were on the other opposing team that said, we were through. We knew it, we were done. And I've talked to coaches on that team, same thing. How does that happen? You're beat before the game starts? Wow. Montana Rose. Rose. Touchdown, McAfee. Down. They go to the fullback. Mitchell. Touchdown. He's getting good blocking. He has time and he throws.